definitely bittersweet. Yeah, I mean, it just warms my heart to be here. I love that Davis Media Access is our final beneficiary. But what's really fun is seeing people from all the past soups on, seeing all these some volunteers who have volunteered at every single one, even back when it wasn't businesses donating crock pots at food. It was when like everyone brought their crock pot of soup and they all lined up and they blew the circuits, right? But um, yeah, so it's definitely bittersweet, but it's really fun that we can have a big party to send it off. Wow. All the soups are amazing. That's the challenge. Although most people go to the gumbo first because that always, Jonathan Moon's gumbo always goes and I've always missed it. But any of them are amazing. And, Ooh, uh, the Dos Coyote, the soups are really, Main really good. Street Lounge. We're really here for the bread, which is going to be really, we're looking forward to the bread. I'm very, very excited about the gumbo. You know, I hope it got a little spice to it, but I'm gonna make it happen. Uh, but I will, guilty pleasure, gonna try a little bit. I, if I can, I'm gonna try and sample more than one. This is my first time and I'm thrilled at the sight of it. So exciting, uh, the, the display for the silent auction is unbelievable. I'm really looking forward to getting some soup and listening to the band. Everyone's in a good mood, it's a great affair. I'm gonna shoot for the uh, German potato, I wanna see what that's like. Mediterranean tomato and carrot sounds fabulous. Chili chicken stew. Nice, nice, have you been to Soup Farm before? No. Anyway, I just got the green chili, which I absolutely love. I have every year, and he loves the clam chowder. So, wonderful event. Congratulations that you guys are getting the benefit of, of everybody being here tonight. Uh, Davis Media Access certainly deserves it. You know, the gumbo is always good. They're usually some soup you've never seen before, so I'll probably look for that, but they're all good. Uh, it's a nice tradition. It's, it's the, the one chance I get more local politicians show up at this one event than about any other event I ever go to. We're just so happy to be here in Davis, California. Well, welcome to the 17th Soup Song by Don Sailor, the man of the hour. First, we just want to do a, a huge thank you uh, to Mumbo Gumbo. Let's hear it from Mumbo Gumbo. The last, the last time I was, we were, I think a lot of us were fortunate enough to hear Mumbo Gumbo play in real life was for many of us, it was back in November of 2018 when they played at the uh, Paradise, the campfire fire relief benefit that we held at the Senior Center. Oh my gosh, what an amazing event that was and so appreciate Mumbo Gumbo being here to help celebrate this event as well. Let's hear from Mumbo Gumbo one more time. And I think that that, you know, what's really fitting and how this all sort of flows together is that Mumbo Gumbo was there in our community to help uh, raise money and raise funds to, to, for the campfire victims in the, the town of Paradise. But also, who else was there? Davis Media Access was one of the, yes, right? One of the, one of the stalwart community partners in this community of Davis and here in Yolo County is Davis Media Access. And we have come to rely upon all the work that Davis Media Access does in so many different ways. And you, if there's an event in this community, you can pretty much guarantee that Davis Media Access is covering it. So community media centers, 
KDRT, the TV station as well. We are so, so grateful for all the good work of Davis Media Access, who is the beneficiary of this evening's Soup's On. So I have the really great uh, honor of introducing all the elected officials, and uh, there are quite a few, as is typical in the Soup's On event. Uh, it is quite the event for many people in the community to attend, of course, but also many, many elected officials. So uh, you can either hold your applause or your Rotten Tomatoes till I get to the very end of the list. Your, your preference, your choice. A couple of last quick things for me. There are so many amazing sponsors of this uh, annual event. This year, though, a couple of key uh, sponsors that we really wanted to highlight, UC Davis. Clark Pacific, Starcross Properties, Dowling Properties, and Green Coast Industries. Let's give those big sponsors all a round of applause, please. Uh, you might want to go and with get, that, uh, we are going to uh, hear a few words from our soon-to-be future, once a future, Congressman Mike Thompson. Lucas, thank you very much. It's great to be here with you tonight. Thank you all for coming out for such a great cause. Uh, Davis Media does such a wonderful job uh, for the whole community. So thank you for supporting th them and thank you for supporting Don and his great event. I'll tell you, Don, we're gonna miss you on the Board of Supervisors. Don and I go back a long way. I, I was, on the way down, I was thinking about all the work that you've done, the environmental stuff, the housing stuff, the education stuff, the non-stop involvement in transportation. And I remember the first time we met, you made me get in the car and drive to your house so I could see your solar operation and your charging system because you knew that this was the way of the future, this was important for our community and for our planet. And the work that you've done is incredible. Thank you very, very much for all of that, all that you've done, and I know you're not hanging it up. You're gonna be around doing a lot for the community for many, many years to come. I am so happy to be back in Davis and in Yolo County. It is so exciting for me and exciting to be here to see all of you tonight, to reconnect with old friends and to meet new friends. So thank you all very, very much. And Lucas, thanks for the nice introduction. And you're going to be a darn good supervisor. Thank you. Carl? Hello. I am Tara Thronson. Many of you have gotten emails from me. Hello. All right, first, I'm getting down to business. If you have a car and you don't have your keys, come find us. We found Someone found them in the car. If you've lost your cell phone, come find me. We'll get, we got you. All right, this is my sixth Soups On event, and it is such an honor to organize this and be side by side with this Soups On incredible community. As we searched through photos of past Soups On events, I literally teared up seeing all these volunteers that have been here over and over and over again. So we're gonna give a special shout out to some of those key volunteers. Kari at the registration table out here right now. Amazing. She has everything. Elizabeth Fulmer with salad and dessert. Right? She's probably still in there refreshing those strawberries. Liz and Joe King always keep our wine flowing. Tom, Tom Cross right there. This guy picks up the soup and, and does everything. Literally, I had him run, get something silly. Never a drop, and he did never, it. never any drops. Jane Runquist does photography, and there's a whole team of folks here volunteering. <laughs> Chef's warming up the soup. She can't hear me right now, but Andrea Thompson's running the heck of the kitchen. And in the past, we've had Jennifer Romero, Kathleen Olson, Julie Cross, Christy Skibbins. And those people, they're professionals making sure that we all have amazing soup. Too many celebrity soup servers to name. I'm gonna give a shout out to past and current staff. Diane Paro and Emily Henderson really created this, right? Jessica Jones, Sarah Simmons, my colleague, we're happy to bring it on. Thank you to our generous food and drink donors. Please patronize their businesses. If you ever ask me to go out to lunch, I always start with my soups on list, all right? So let's do that. But here's some really cool facts, guys. Over the years, once this event became uh, businesses donating food, we've had over 45 businesses 
have donated food and beverages to this event. Jesus. And we, Careful. Yes, right? Okay. And we love all our donors equally, just like we love all our children equally. But we have a few special shout-outs. These companies, once we started having businesses donate, these companies have donated every single time. The Buckhorn Steakhouse from Winters. Yes. Joe's Coyotes. Jonathan Moon with his gumbo. And Upper Crust Bakery. Right? So shut them up. But let me tell you some others. These companies have donated to more than half of the Soup's On events. Because it's not fair. Some of them started after, you know, we started doing this. Cafe Italia, Crepeville, Nugget, Rayleigh's, Savory Cafe, Steve's Original Pizza, Sudwork, Turkovich Family Wines, Wilson Vineyards Family Wines, and the winemakers right back there, and uh, Winter City Council Member Wade Cowan. We are grateful to all who have helped make this a meaningful community event year after year. And now it is my great honor to welcome to the microphone the founder, and I'm going to say the chief visionary of the Soups On event, Yolo County Supervisor Don Saylor. Thank you, Tara. You know, it's, it's really pretty fun. There are sure a lot of people here I haven't seen in a while. In fact, I haven't seen anybody in a good long while. So it's nice to see you all without little boxes around your faces. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful experience to reconnect, reconnect with the Soupson family. When I say family, I really, I, I really do mean that because we've been doing this together uh, since 2003. And of course it started little, it started in, in uh, Julie in my kitchen. Uh, a friend said, you know, you ought to have an annual event, have a, something of a signature event, something everybody will look forward to, then maybe it'll be kind of fun. And, and that friend got, that was Gina Delighton, and I don't know if Gina's here or not, but she's now the executive director of YOLO First Five. And Gina was helping us figure out what we're going to do that year. And so she said, you know, she got sick, and I made soup for her in, in the kitchen that, that we have at our house. And I, I took the soup to her and her family. And she said, well, you know what we really ought to do is let's have an annual soup, soup event. And you can cook all the soup. And, and so we did. And so for the first two years, I cooked all the soup in the house. And we I borrowed the refrigerators from the neighbors. And our house is, was plenty roomy for us, but it uh, got, got overflowed pretty quickly. We went to another friend's house the third year, and then the Seeger's house. And then we went to the Ren Pat and Renati Fry's house. That was a little bigger. And we outgrew that and we went to the Odd Fellows. And that one was great. That was the first year that we did it as a, we decided we couldn't do it for a campaign event that year because of the laws and stuff like that. And so we did it instead for a nonprofit. And we picked Tuliomi. We just wanted to keep the momentum going. And Tuliomi is such a wonderful cause. They've helped to conserve the, the, the foothills out here, the, the, the Berryessa Hills and that national monument area. And Mike, thanks for your help with with the, getting that, that over the finish line. So Tuliomi was, was, was wonderful. And, and I left that night thinking, well, this was really fun. We had all these people in. We had a nice band. Everything was cool. Uh, we got to make everybody brought soup and crock pots. And as I was leaving, somebody said, hey, who are you going to do this for next year? And I thought, well, that's we think. I think we've got something lightning in a bottle here. It's a whole lot more fun doing this when we're doing it for community just sheer outright for community. And so we've done that now for 13 times. 13 times we picked a nonprofit. And we, each nonprofit we picked, it was somebody that we knew needed a little boost, needed a transformational investment, needed to build awareness, needed to have just, just something that's gonna give them a spark that brought them through some tough times. And we, we picked Suicide Prevention the year that they were having a hard time because they've lost their funding. We picked Acme Theater Company last year, uh, well, 2020, and it turns out they were able to sustain their operations for youth theater through the pandemic because of the investment that, that came from Soupson, from all of you. One year we picked NAMI YOLO, and NAMI YOLO had never had any paid staff before that year. And they were able to take the Soups On contribution and leverage that to more fundraising and to have an ongoing permanent full-time staff person 
to help us with mental health awareness and families helping families who are suffering from mental health issues. Every year we try to find somebody who really needs, needs a boost. And we've been so lucky because our family of donors, our family of cooks, our family of beverage providers and bakers has just continued to grow and we've outgrown every, every hall and every, every venue that we've had. This year, this year we chose to, uh, to have our, as our beneficiary Davis Media Access. And in just a minute I'll tell you, in just a minute, I'll tell you why. But there's one more thing I want to do before I get to that. And uh, this is uh, Lewis. Lewis, are you here? Lewis Kimball, are you here? Jeff Simmons, are you here? All right. Sarah Simmons and Tara Thronson, I want you to come on up here. Tara Thronson, did you just run off? Tara, are you here? I think she, she took her opportunity to take off. So Tara, when you come back, we're going to surprise you, but everybody else is going to know what the surprise is. So this is, a, I want to tell you guys that this last bit of time here, this last, this last month, has been a pretty incredible challenge for a lot of people. And some of us have been, have been, uh, have needed a lot of extra help. And one of the, one of the ways that that's all happened, that this event has come across the finish line is because Sarah Simmons and Tara Thronson have done that. And so, Sarah, I think Jeff owes you some flowers for that. And thank you, Sarah, for all your work. And let's see, uh, Lucy, would you come over here for a minute? Lucy, Lucy is going to stand in for Tara. She's going to pretend to be Tara Thronson. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tara Thronson, come on over. So you can tell that she, she's out there working the logistics. She's got spreadsheets and worksheets and assignment rosters, Plan photographs C, of Plan people C. so she knows who they are. And Lewis Kimball's gonna give you your your award. Thank you so much, Tara, for all your work here. Thank you. Very good, very good. And I know Eric would have liked to present that to you, but then there's that. <laughs> all right, so Davis Media Access, is the, the, th the thing that we've tried to do with Soups On, and I hope you have a chance to look at the video in the, in the, in the rooms run, right above the auction, there's a, it's being shown, and, there's, and it's also being shown in the, in the quiet room over here. There's a video of the, the history of Soups On. But what we've always tried to do here, the mission, the vision here, is to knit together the fabric of our shared community to knit together the fabric of our shared community. It's people helping people. It's making sure that we are in touch with the essence of who we are as a community. That when we see somebody who needs something, we're pitching in to help them. When somebody needs a voice, we can help them have that voice. When somebody needs a hand up, there's somebody around with a hand to give them. And I think of Davis Media Access as just that same cause, just that same underlying principle. That's what Davis Media Access does. They are our community voice. Lucas described so well, when we need them, they step in. When we needed to have an event for the, 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 uh, the Paradise Fire, Davis Media Access was right on the job. When there's something, we can call them and they come and they videotape an event that really needs a bigger audience than we can fit in a room or that we can get in one place at one time. They're always there for our community, and we are there for them tonight. So welcome Autumn Labe Renault from Davis Media Access. Are y'all having a good time? I can't tell you what a thing of beauty you all are to be here at an event in community, and I am so grateful to each of you for being here, to Don and Tara and Sarah, to all the volunteers and sponsors, everyone who's been thanked, and to that I really need to add DMA's board Thanks. of directors, our staff, and our very rich and abundant community of volunteers. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. executive director of Davis Media Access for the past 15 years. I can't tell you how many storms we've weathered in that time. Funding cuts, a pandemic, 
technological changes, wholesale changes in how media works and what people expect from it. And really the pandemic, we were scratching our heads and wondering, is this it? How are we going to weather this? And we really tried to be the nonprofit that helped other nonprofits during this time with media and technology and understanding how to do it virtually. As I like to say, we try to be a force for good. And I think your presence here tonight tells me that we succeeded in some measure. And I'm very, very pleased about that. Don Saylor taught me a lot about building community in hands-on, meaningful ways and about what shared service means. And so to be the last recipient at this moment in time when we are, you know, we're, we're classified as an arts and culture organization. It's been a tough road for arts and culture organizations in the pandemic. We didn't qualify for a lot of funding. We weren't seen as essential. And all of us in, the, in Yolo County tried to keep it going. So to be recognized and supported in, in this moment in time is everything. And I'm, I'm just profoundly grateful. to remind you that the silent auction closes at 7.45, so I'm doing that. Check out the bid sheets. And if you will allow me just a personal moment, um, my husband Craig over there, we're celebrating our 28th wedding anniversary. And I wouldn't be able to do all the things I do in community without, without his support. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you, Mumbo Gumbo. We love you. Enjoy. Happy anniversary to Autumn and Craig. Wow, that's wonderful. We gave this party just for their anniversary. How exciting. And I also want to thank my wife, Julie, who's right here. And our, our son, Aaron, is with us. And our granddaughter, Finley, who's, who uh, we, we uh, proudly tell stories about all the time. She's here with us also. So, there's uh, something I want to say. Autumn mentioned that the silent auction is open still. So far, together, we've raised $59,000 to now. So that's, that's kind of, that's pretty cool. I'm sure we can get it up there a little bit higher than that. You have two ways of doing that. Chris, you can go bid on some of this stuff over at the silent auction. There's a really beautiful heart uh, piece of art from Kathy Speck, who's such, such a pillar in our community's memory, and that's a good one for you to bid on. It would look good on your wall. Uh, I know you want to do that. Uh, there's something else you, that's going to be over there for you. There's a nice wine basket. There's all kinds of stuff. But let's get this up. From si I think we can get to 65. Don't you, Gary? Can we get to 65? Yeah? Okay. The other way we can do it is you can simply write a check uh, right at the gate. Right at the gate. You just go back there. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to clutter up your life a bit. You just give them some more money for community media for our community's voice, for that twang thing, Dirk. You can get, get this going. We just need a little more. Let's get him to 65, all right? Can we do it, Dan? Yeah, we can. All right, we're going to do it. Now, the first time I heard Mumbo Gumbo was in that room, and they were in the corner. They were stuffed in there. And it was dark, and it was loud. And people were having a great time, and there was, the acoustics were terrible. And they, this yes. is like coming back from Mumbo Gumbo, only they got a much better corner, and we can hear them and enjoy them and act like you've never been to a party before and dance. There's a lot of space here for you. There's, I've never been to Mumbo Gumbo show and been able to see them when I sat down in the back because of everybody having a good time. So Mumbo Gumbo is coming back. There's still some soup. I'm told there's still some beer and wine, and there's a lot more money to give. So thank you, everybody. Soup's on.